All right, here we go. Sorry, guys, my mic was off. Wow. Big right hand that landed for Capshaw here. Capshaw is closing the distance, but Milo is doing a great job of staying heavy right now in this position. Let's see if he can work his way out. As you can see, though, Capshaw does have an underhook. If he can get his other underhook or start to swim downstairs, he can potentially get a takedown. This is the interesting thing about fighting in a ring versus a cage is the ring has so much flexibility. The, the rope has so much flexibility. Beautiful frame there for Mayo, but Capshaw working right through it with punches and then able to go downstairs. But Mayo is looking for a guillotine here. I don't know how deep this is. He's got a he's got an arm and guillotine. Capshaw's fighting. Capshaw's fighting. He's got to lift his hips though. That's what he's got to do. He's got to push, use his feet to lift his hips, and that'll relieve a lot of the pressure. Nice job. He's out. He's out. I don't know if Mayo let it go because he knew it wasn't in, but big shot from Capshaw here, and he will end up on top. Mayo looks to, he's got a, he's got a nice clench on this arm here. I don't know if he'll be looking for a triangle or an arm bar, but he does have that arm cinched in and is holding it. But Mayo doing a great job of working right through Mayo's guard, excuse me, Capshaw's doing a great job of working through Mayo's guard, is now in a top half, excuse me, quarter guard, quarter mount, call it either or. And is looking to posture. He's gotta fish his elbow in, swim his elbow in like he's doing there, and start to post so he can posture up. Great job there. But Maya very keen to it. Capshaw's all over Josh Maya right now. If he can just suck the hips back a little bit, he'll be in a much better position. But we'll end up in side control and Josh is just resting, taking a break. All right, second round, here we go. Nice low leg kick. Oh, beautiful right hand. Nice blitz from Josh Mayo, but all of those shots seem to have been blocked by Chris. Ooh. But nice right hand that did land for Josh. Chris needs to utilize some jabs here. He's got some big shots, but they're not landing, and he's got to set him up a little bit. Feints. I like his footwork here, his movement. Oh, nice right hand landed by both gentlemen there. But I think feints would do both of them some justice and, and allow for them to find some openings here because neither one is willing to give anything any inches in this fight. I do like the approach in the second round here. Chris is, is not coming forward. He's kind of allowing Josh to come forward. And let's see what he can do. Josh in, in deep on this takedown here. He's got a big single leg. Let's see if he can lock his hands and get both hands around. Oh, hands are locked. But Chris did a great job of lifting him up and bringing him up. Chris now has a double underhook. Oh, he's got it. Both gentlemen have it under hook now. Nice job by the referee to break it up. 
O. Nice straight, followed by a hook from Chris. Nice little leg kick there from Josh. Oh, that right hand left hook is landing for Chris. Josh looks to be hurt. Either hurt or frustrated, one or the other, but there is most certainly he is not sharp and on, and on his game right now in this moment. Let's see if he can rally on. Ten seconds left. Big spin, but gave up this position and the takedown. Great job from Josh to finish the round with the big takedown in on top. All right, third and final round for these gentlemen here. Jab, Chris needs a jab. He's got big punches, he's fast, ferocious, but he needs a jab to set up his strikes here. Nice takedown, great timing on that, and finish by Chris here. Slick, both gentlemen are slick. Mayo seems to be looking for another guillotine here, but Chris is doing the right thing. He's he's passing a guard. He's he's trying. He's got to just pass the knees, and then he's in a great side control position, and also has nice job. He's got a far side wrist control here, so he's got great control here of Josh. Good head positioning. Let's see if he can start to land some strikes and, and do some damage here in the last two minutes of this fight. I think they're talking to each other. They're talking and laughing. Interesting. Oh, big shots from both gentlemen. Neither one lands. And right back into the clinch we go. Minute left, minute 10 left in this fight. Let's see if Chris can create some space here and, and make something happen here. Great job by the ref to break this up. Nice, big right hand from Chris Capshaw. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful inside leg trip there from Chris. He is just having a great time, smiling and having fun. Ten seconds left. Let's see if he can put something together here, either one of these gentlemen, and finish with the exclamation point. But looks like we'll end it right there. Great job from both of these young athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score 30-27. 30, 27, and 29, 28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, from the blue corner, Chris Capshaw. I am here with your winner, Chris. What a great performance. Was there anything that surprised you tonight from Joshua? First of all, I'd like to uh, thank God for giving me this opportunity to uh, come show, showcase my skills. Um, uh, I, was, I was expecting him to strike. 
I, I thought uh, he would use more wrestling. Uh, I know that it, he's become like a better grappler like his, as his uh, career progressed. So I, I thought he would have grappled more. But uh, yeah, that, that's it for that question. You did a great job of mixing your techniques together, your strikes, and, and went into your takedowns. How are you feeling about your performance? Pretty good. I, I thought I would have struck, struck more. But um, like I said, his, his uh, striking was pretty legit, so I had to go shoot for like a couple takedowns. Yeah. What's next for you? I got to fight in March uh, for NFC. Good luck. Congratulations on a fantastic performance and victory. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Chris Capshaw.